I'm not going to tell you that NordVPN is capable of circumventing some online video providers. I actually don't know why I can't say it directly, but I'm not gonna say that. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits, and in today's video, I am talking about NordVPN. Uh, again. Now, if you guys don't remember, or if you're new to my channel, uh, a while back, I did do a sponsored video by NordVPN. Basically, they paid me to make a video showcasing, you know, some of the speeds that they offered through their service. I ran through some of the basic setup process, and overall, it was just a generic video to kind of showcase what NordVPN could offer you. So, I've been thinking about this for a while, and while this video here technically is not sponsored, like I'm not being paid to make this video, I do still have an affiliate program set up that I have links in the description for. Uh, it's actually in every video that I make, so this one's not really special at all. But I just wanna disclose that, even though they're not paying me to make this video, I do have an affiliate with them, so you know, take that as it is. But moving forward, pretty much what I was thinking about is easy ways to use a VPN service, uh, both on your home platform and a mobile platform. And what I actually found, and I'm not gonna say that this is you know, specifically only on NordVPN services. I'm sure there's plenty of other services that have the same options. But what I found is that there are actually extensions and apps that you can download that allows you to easily connect and disconnect uh, from the VPN service to allow yourself to browse just a little bit more privately. Or in this particular case, you could probably circumvent certain, you know, geographical location limitations to some video providers that you might be able to subscribe to online. For some reason, don't know why, uh, going more into detail into that is kind of a gray area, so I'm just going to, you know, beat around the bush as it were. But essentially, the point of this video is to show you the two easy ways to use NordVPN on either your mobile device or your home PC. So let's jump right in to your mobile device. In my example, I will be using an Apple iPhone 10, so everything's going to go through the App Store, but if you did have an Android device, it would be very similar, except you would just use the Play Store. So of course, to get the NordVPN app, you just go into the Play Store or the App Store, search for NordVPN, and download it. Once you have it downloaded, you can launch the app, and assuming you have already created a NordVPN account, simply sign in. Now from here, you can either A, select what server you want to connect to specifically, like let's say if you are overseas away from the United States, but you wanted to connect it using a United States IP address, you could do that, or B, just click Quick Connect at the bottom, and it will just give you the closest one to you. Once you do this at the very top right of the app, you will be able to see that the VPN is now connected and you can you know, test it out by checking to see if your IP address has changed or even run a speed test to see what kind of speed you're getting through that server. Running a speed test is a good thing because certain servers have different loads. You know, some of them might run faster or slower than others. So it's always nice to be able to run through and, and make sure that you're getting the speeds that you need, especially if you wanna watch something like Netflix. But as you can see here, going into my browser before connecting the VPN, I can see what my IP address is. Of course, I'm gonna blur most of it out, but you get the idea. Then once I connect the VPN service, I go back into the browser and I refresh the page and magically my IP address changes. Okay, it's not magic, it's, it's a VPN. It's actually really basic stuff. But the point is, is you can achieve it very easily on your phone with little to no effort. Now this is good for a couple of reasons. I mean, aside from the whole, you know, video geographical limitations thing, uh, if you were like, let's say on a public Wi-Fi or something like that, and you wanted an easy way to secure your connection to other servers without having any interference or possibility of having your data stolen by somebody else on that Wi-Fi system, this would be a good way to secure your traffic. Or if you know you're filtered out or blocked by some kind of firewall or something, if you can still connect to the VPN service, then this should allow you to bypass that uh, without you know any major decrease in speed. But moving on, let's jump onto the PC, and more specifically, let's jump into Chrome. Basically with Chrome, all you have to do is Google the NordVPN Chrome extension. You can go directly into the extension installation page, install it with ease, and the next thing you know, you have a brand new icon in the top right of your Chrome browser. From here, again, all you have to do is sign in and click connect. It's super simple. Again, if you have an existing account. If not, hey, 
use my links, you get a pretty good discount. So once you do that, again, I go in, I check my IP address before and after, voila, I changed, I go in, I check my speed difference. Yes, it does have a decrease in speed, but still it's one of those things where you can test different servers to find which one best suits you. Everybody's gonna have a different experience because everybody's gonna be located in different areas and everybody's just gonna have a different connection to whatever server that they're connecting to. Also, speed tests can be kind of unreliable. Just depends on you know what server you're connecting to, what path you take to get there. I mean, there's a lot of variables, but you get the idea. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's two simple ways to use NordVPN to secure your traffic, possibly bypass some firewalls or geographical limitations. Now, of course, NordVPN does offer downloadable programs that you can install onto your PC, something that's going to basically redirect all of the traffic from your PC and direct everything through that VPN. So if you're using things like torrents or something like that, uh, it would all be affected by the VPN service. But the Chrome extension is just an easy way to secure your browsing um, whenever you actually just want to activate it quickly. But like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I do have affiliate links down below. And this isn't just a simple link to give me credit for. This is actually a discount link that can give you some pretty good discounts if you wanted to try this service out. So I recommend you checking out those links down below if you are interested in securing your browsing and or bypassing some geographical limitations. Well guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them down below. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a good day.